Hi everyone, welcome to my next video in this um, butterflies and bugs page. We have another butterfly today. So let's go in closely and have a little look. I'm definitely not going to do a blue butterfly today, we've done two of those. I do want to do a green one, but we won't this one because we've got a green beetle there. So maybe tomorrow's might be green, but not today. So I'm having a little look and a think. Um, I'm thinking I might like to do a really sort of, hmm, I am thinking a very pale pink with darker pink maybe the magentas light magenta and magenta i think that might be quite an interesting combination i'm just grabbing those now and having a look i think what i'm going to do is take the dark magenta first and do those dots you can see all those dots along the top those are going to be really hard to color around so i'm going to use my magenta to color those in first and then we'll go from there really. I'm going to layer them up a fair bit so that I can get a decent amount of colour down on them and then see where we go. I've got to go out later, I'm just checking the time. Mm. Oh, it's only 20 to 10. The shop I go to doesn't open till at least 10, sometimes it's later. So uh, I won't be going out for a bit. I might even leave it until after lunch. I think I'll do here. And I'm tempted to make fade it towards the middle, but I don't think that's going to be right for a butterfly. So I think I'll just fade it towards the end. Yeah, so I may leave it till after lunch. But I went there yesterday. I bought a load of things for me and completely forgot the thing that husband asked me to buy. <laughs> <laughs> whoops so I'm going back today to get his thing he wanted some biscuits um, his very favourite ones that he didn't even know they sold well I don't think they're his very favourite but and uh, the, I bought the children some from that shop um, for I'm going to fade this one towards the base as well like that bought the children's some from that shop um, for their Christmas present and husband was very jealous. I had no idea that he would like them so I've got to get him some. So that's fine, he'll get me out for a walk as well. I'm tempted to walk along the canal um, but it has been raining so much I think it's going to be really muddy but we'll see, I'll have a think got my new boots I mean they can cope with mud but I don't know if I can <laughs> if I want my new boots to get muddy they are Doc Martens so they're you know perfectly capable of coping with mud I'm just being a bit fussy here and uh, going over it a little bit but we'll see I'll have a think later it depends but I, I went to town yesterday in them and they didn't hurt my feet too much, which was rather good. I dropped, dropped my pencil. Because um, I wore them the other week and they made my feet very sore. This is like magenta, but I've got worn some different socks and um, some plasters. Or I think you call them band-aids, don't you, in the US? Why don't you call them... I mean, band-aid is a brand name, isn't it? So is there another word you use? Or do you only use that brand name? Is is it the only brand that makes them? Like here we don't, I don't even know if we have that brand. I always buy an own brand usually or a Lustaplast, I think they're called. So uh, I don't know. It might just be where I buy shop that doesn't have them. That reminds me, I've got to go in that shop, the uh, pharmacy to uh, get some more, I've run out of uh, vitamins. So, uh, I never know whether vitamins are good or not really. I know um, D, vitamin D is good to take in the winter in the UK, but um, I never know about the rest, but I have quite a limited diet because of various food intolerances, so I sort of think that if I take something, then it's all bound, hold on. 
that was parcel number one. <laughs> okay, this is looking a bit messy. I'm just going to go over it. Yes, um, that was UPS. It's interesting because UPS in our town is the same driver all the time. And I see him all over the place. He doesn't actually know me. Um, parcel force driver. I know him very well in the sense that I used to order a lot uh, that was delivered by him um, when I ran a previous business. And uh, so uh, he... Um, I see him around still. I used to... It's quite an unusual butterfly, isn't it? But hey-ho. So what? Right, body. I'm thinking cold greys. I'm going to do a little head um, that's black, just to be a little bit different. And then we'll do the other parts in greys. So I'm thinking I might fade it a bit towards the middle. So it looks, whoops, a bit rounded. You don't have to go out the lines. And we'll do these in black as well so they show up. There we go. Um, yeah, I used to, um, this is cold grey six. I used to buy and sell second hand books and I used to order um, envelopes from him. The, um, you know, the sort of padded bags to send all the books out in. And uh, so I used to order lots. So he would be around at least once a month with a big package of envelopes. I've still got some even now because uh, I bought, used to buy boxes full of them. I used to have bookshelves and bookshelves full of books for sale. I'm going to do that one darker tucked in there and a bit lighter towards the base. Um, yeah, shelves and shelves of books to sell. I used to sell them on eBay and Amazon sorts of places and uh, all the envelopes and things like that as well cold grey four I used to have them all um, in carefully um, um, filed by so if I list I would go and buy it I go like to a car boot sale um, or whatever and list them on a Monday and put my auctions ending, my eBay auctions starting and ending on different days so that I didn't have everything ending on the same day because it made it really difficult for posting. I'm just going to use this one to do the one with there as well because then I'd have everything to post in one go which was really tricky. I'm going to use my black just to define some of the edges of this. It already looks fairly good. I think, but just a little bit more in here. Um, yes, yeah, so not everything, so I didn't, and I used to go to the post office every day, posting out various things. And, uh, yeah, I used to sometimes have books that I was holding on to to put together a series. Um, like maybe an Enid Blyton series. Um, this is Payne's Grey, and I'm going to use it to put some shadow actually on the wings like under here like we normally do to sort of separate out the upper and lower wing so yes um various different series and i would collect them up or if there was a series like chalet school which is far too big to collect the whole thing to sell i would um you know, if I got a few less popular books, I would bundle them together with a more popular one to sort of sell them and things like that. All sorts of things. I would always be searching and researching to find out what was selling well and what wasn't. Put a little bit more under here. And uh, hunting for those particular books. Um, there were some very rare chalet school books that I used to find. Um, and for any first editions, anything signed, um, things like that. Um, yeah, complete series were always good, first editions, um, one books with dust wrappers, all sorts of things that I learned, which was a lot of fun. Okay, we're going to add some white. I'm just looking where. Now, normally I would put a dot maybe in here, but I think it's too small. I'm actually going to put white on top of the 
on top of here. I'm going to start on this side for a change so I don't smudge it. That would be good, wouldn't it? Dot, 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 there. The Johanna's drawn a little line on which we can just use. We have dots down here. I'm going to just try. So I really enjoyed doing that, but what happened was that book publishers became very aware that people were cashing in on eBay by selling old um, books and they started reprinting them. And so there was a there's a company that reprinted chalet school books. I'm going to do a few more dots. And then there were various other ladybird books started being reprinted and various other things. And also people started realising the value of books and sort of emptying their attic. I am going to do, I do want a white dot in the centre of each of those circles, but I'm going to grab my slightly smaller nibbed pen, if I can find it. Excuse me, wrestling around. So the market dropped off, postage got high as well. No, that's so I've got a jelly roll ten, a jelly roll eight, a jelly roll ten, a sparkly jelly roll, and no jelly roll five, which is what I was going to grab. I'm going to have to do use the eight and go really gently. If you've got a five, use a five. So the I can give you a little tip though. I'm just going to erase this. Um, mark here is some a bit of I don't know what it is actually I was going to say it's transfer from the other side but it's not because the other side is pale green anyway a trick so scribble with your pen first to get some ink out on a, a different piece of paper then what you want to do is touch and lift really quickly and you get a really small dot if you get a dot at all I, my first one didn't work There we go. Mm. So these are a bit pale, aren't they? If they're there. There we go. I think that worked. So there is our pink butterfly for today. I think we are done. So uh, there you are. Whoops, just nearly knocking my pencils on the floor. Hang on. There you go. So we've just got one row left, but uh, I haven't thought about what I'm doing with those yet, but I will very soon. But thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Please drop me a little like um, or dislike. Either works. Um, the dislikes, um, um, apparently YouTube don't care if it's a like or a dislike. They, uh, It still counts as an interaction and still helps the channel. So I don't know. Although, yeah, it's nice to see likes. <laughs> <laughs> and please comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already thank you to all of those that you that of you that already do so have a very super day and happy coloring <laughs>